Hi, I'm Sophie from pdhsports.com. I'm really excited to have John Makin here with us today. How are you, John? Yeah, all good, thanks, sir. Good. Yeah, so we're going to start with a what's in your bag. So if you want to start off with, with the bag you've got, it's a, a Caracal competition bag. Tell us a bit about why you use this particular bag. Yeah, so I signed with Caracal uh, to start of last summer. So I've been using their stuff since then. Um, yeah, this is the one I use. They do two different sizes. Uh, I find this one easier for training, so just their racket bag, a um, little bit smaller of the two. Um, so yeah, I've been using that for a while. Um, yeah, should we have a look at a couple of the rackets? Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Um, so yeah, I was excited about this. We just got the, uh, my signature rackets out that came out last week. Um, so yeah, this is a bit different than what uh, Caracal have done before. So they've done, we've been working on one, yeah, I've been using it since about September. Um, it's more of a traditional teardrop shape. Uh, they do a few different ones with Caracal already, where they have uh, their sort of style of the teardrop, but I wanted to do this one with them. Um, yeah, we managed to put it together in my sort of weight and balance, which is, uh, yeah, it's about 120 and uh, quite evenly balanced, maybe a little bit headlight. Um, so yeah, this was my preference on the ones I tried and this was my favourite, so um, yeah, I started using these from September and yeah, I've been enjoying it. Great, they came out last week. Nice. And like, how many rackets would you typically take with you to say like tournaments, training, what's kind of um, normal standard for you? I'd normally have about four with me. Um, if competitions, I might have a couple more, but yeah, normally four if I'm training. So I'm going to go through quite a few strings a week. So yeah, if I break one or two sets a week, I've always got a couple of spares. Um, so what sort of stringing setup would you use in your rackets? Um, so I've started using a different one over the last couple of months. I've been using the Hot Zone Pro 125. Um, this came out a couple of months ago, so it's more of the grippier texture. So the other ones they had before was more of a power string, and this was their control version, basically. Um, so yeah, this is the one I like. I have it at about between 22 and 24, which is quite loose. Um, but with these strings, I've gone a little bit tighter, more towards 24. I have used 20 before, um, which is quite loose, I think. Looser than most people use, anyway. Yeah. Um, that's the one I like. Cool. So what else have you got in there? Nothing too interesting in this one. Um, brand new balls, try and start as many sessions with a new ball. Spent too long using, uh, using old flat balls for starting <laughs> sessions with, so getting as much like PSA sort of uh, conditions as you can on a regular basis. Um, that's the string I've been using for the last couple of months. A uh, couple of wristbands and a couple of grips, and that's about it. Nice. So yeah, I've been using the, I've got a few pairs of ASICS trainers. These are the ones I always use. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I normally bring two pairs with me, normally for training and tournaments. Um, yeah, go through, one's normally soaking wet or um, just about to break a string or heavily worn, so um, I always sw uh, swap trainers, yeah, every other session or during a tournament, that kind of thing. Have you got any sort of kind of routines that you always go through, like to start off with any particular stretches or kind of warm-ups that you do that's kind of routine for you? Yeah, um, I do a load of stuff. I've got... Um, yeah, I probably warm up for about 40 minutes before proper tournaments. Um, I tend to, when I'm going into it, it would be a lot more dynamic. Um, I would have done my mobility and more stretching in the morning. Yep. Um, and then as you get towards the match play, it would be a lot more intense uh, dynamic movements, really. Um, you don't want to be doing too many static stretches and things just before going on court. Yep. Um, as well as increasing the heart rate just before about to start. Nothing too interesting, really. I just use um, these ones I'd use for shoulder mobility, just like banded warm ups, that kind of thing. Um, extra stretches for the hips, extra stretches for the shoulders, just helps get a bit more end of range really, that's all. Um, yeah, I always have free workout, uh, I always use that before starting, so that's more um, just like high caffeine, especially if you need it before a match or like an extra training session, I normally use that. So yeah, I've been using that for the last couple of months actually, just um, just not necessarily in training, um, but it was more just before, before big matches if you need a bit more caffeine, it's got a few different things in it, so I always feel that helps quite a lot. Um, yeah, other than that, just sort of electrolytes, proteins, that kind of thing. Um, big on getting electrolytes in during sessions and straight after. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, the same for protein bars and things like that. Try and get them straight in um, as soon as I finish a training session, that kind of thing. Get them in throughout the day. Yeah. Have you got any kind of specific kind of snacks that you would have, kind of you go to, you like always have? Is there anything you... Or is it just like protein um, bars and then protein, protein bars, probably straight after, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm big into getting protein in like throughout the day. I would say that if, the more times you can get a protein bar in straight after sessions, because if you're doing two sessions a day, you need to be getting electrolytes in and salt straight in after playing. So um, that's something I'm big into and get a lot of that kind of stuff in. 
um, I think it's pretty important. Right, thanks for that, Joel. That was a really nice insight into what you kind of carry on a day-to-day -day basis and, you know, little hints and tips for tournament prep and things like that. So thank you for coming yeah, no problem, and be sure to check out our other videos with Joel and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Cheers.